All right, guys, it is Thursday, uh, April 6th, and I'm just out on the snowshoes because we still got a couple feet of snow on the ground. Just out checking some things out, checking this field edge. Got my dog with me. And as you can see, we are totally socked in with snow, even this south facing wood line, um, which this will be the first place that melts. Um, it's still got quite a bit of snow on it. Um, so I'm just out getting a little exercise, put a camera out. We'll see if there's any turkeys that show up on the camera. Um, we are looking at uh, potentially in the 60s by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So hopefully at least this edge of the field will start to open up by then. Um, any place that gets shade is going to have snow for quite a while yet back in the woods. Uh, we're talking probably over two, two and a half feet of snow are still on the ground. So we'll see what happens in the next week, but uh, six days till turkey season. See what you can do, buddy. Hit that can. Oh, you got it! Had a boy. Hey, watch your gun now. Point your gun down at the ground. Here you go. Got it. Good shot, buddy. Yeah, you could kill a turkey at 20 yards. How's that can looking? Looking like you're looking like you're shooting pretty good, buddy. I think we should shoot here now. One more time. Yep. Out here in snowshoes, and we got a little bit of wet snow, and that's good news right there. Especially that track. Either a Jake or a Tom. to be two of them together and they're pretty good sized tracks too it's a, a good way to end the day right there all right guys so i'm back at the house here after our morning hunt um i apologize i bought a new microphone for my video camera and i had the the wind muff set up on the camera and the audio out of the blind was just horrible you can barely hear anything so i'm just going to give you a quick recap here saturday the 15th uh, was the first day we were able to get out and turkey hunt um the entire week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday uh was 60s and 70s and our snow melted really fast everything is flooded all the swamps back in the woods all the low-lying areas uh i don't know a third of my field is underwater um, so me and my seven-year-old, we went out uh, Saturday morning and didn't see a single thing. It's just, it started raining. It was not super windy, but windy enough that you really couldn't call and, and get your sound to, to travel any kind of a distance. Um, I had seen three turkeys on the gravel road the night before when I went out to set my blind up. And I had had a couple of pictures of birds. Um, maybe three nights during the week, I'd had a few birds on camera. So not a lot of turkey action, but with the rain, we figured that was our best spot. Um, after we hunted till about 9.30, I brought my son back home. Um, I biked out into a piece of public and th no tracks anywhere. The gravel road was wet and soft. So you would have seen tracks if birds had crossed. Um, I did some calling, couldn't get anything to gobble. Uh, then I drove about 20 miles away to another spot where I know has some birds and I did find fresh tracks. Um, a trail that goes back to the river had fresh tracks from that morning where they had came out of the roost. So I was really considering hunting there this morning, um, but my seven year old, he really wanted to go out again. So um, woke up to white everything is white snowed last night and the wind is really blowing so i was content just to drink coffee and sit on the couch but when my seven-year-old rolled out of bed at about 6 30 he wanted to go hunting so he demanded that i make him some breakfast and that we get going so we got out to the blind late and there were turkey tracks out there already wouldn't you know it so we slipped in um did a little soft calling and about 20 25 minutes after we got in the blind this is what happened Jake, look at that thing, huh? 
Oh, well, Grayson got his first turkey, a nice Jake. Uh, took two shots. I think he got a little close to us. He was probably only five yards from the blind on the first shot, and he shot over top of it. And so here we are with the bird. Um, just real quick, I had the decoy set out, and as you can kind of see in the camera, I mean, he came right into the decoy, but he came in so fast, and we had the decoy set only about five yards from the blind, that it just made it really tough for Grayson to get up and get on the bird. Um, we saw him out the north window, and by the time I could get set up, he was gone. He had gone back into the woods and then came out. Um, so I don't know. Honestly, we are using a 20 gauge uh, tungsten number sevens and uh, modified choke. I wanted the modified choke just because we were going to keep the shots close and I wanted a little bigger pattern than the full choke. Um, he practiced all last weekend. We shot through a whole box of shells practicing. So he was definitely ready for it. But as you can see, we are bundled up. It is nasty. And I think having a lot of clothes made it a little, a little more difficult for him to shoot the gun. But either way, he uh, missed the first shot. I'm assuming shot over top of the bird. Um, and then I think we body hit the bird on the second shot with the majority of uh, that load of tungsten because he just crumpled. He went down. His wings are broke. His leg is broke. So... Um, yeah, took two shots. He was a little stunned on the first shot, but I helped him get the gun back up and he leaned around and made the shot on the second one, which I didn't get on film, but 